Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ninas Academy. So guys, in our today's video, we are going to learn about the cutting fluids. What are the different types of the cutting fluid? What is the exact function and the requirement of a good cutting fluid? We are going to cover everything in our today's video. Also guys, we will be learning about the different functions of the cutting fluid like uh, it is used for the lubrication as well as for the heat dissipation as well as for cooling purpose. So guys, uh, we are going to learn everything about the cutting fluid in today's video. So if you are new over here on my education channel, Ingenious Academy, kindly subscribe it because your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational video. Also guys, if uh, all my educational videos add some kind of the value in your life, in your career, so please do subscribe to our education engineering channel, Ingenious Academy. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the cutting fluid. So guys, in any kind of the machining operations, that can be the turning, that can be of the milling, drilling, reaming, we always require the some sort of the like the equipments, the machine tools, we require the workpiece, we require the uh, like the tool. Uh, to carry out the cutting process also we require the cutting fluid so guys over here this cutting fluid is used for the variety of the operations for variety of the different processes and it is the necessity of that particular operation the cutting fluid is the necessity of that particular operation it is always required for the heat dissipation for the cooling purpose as well as for the lubrication purpose so basically guys this cutting fluid is required for the majority of the two purposes like it can be used for the lubrication purpose or else it can be used as a coolant that is heat dissipation purpose like suppose the cutting speed is very much less then we can use this cutting fluid for the lubrication purpose and if the cutting speed is on a higher side so at the higher cutting speeds there are more chances of the more wear and tear that will occur and there will be the you know the generation of the heat will occur at the higher cutting speeds so in that particular scenario we require a coolant so over here the cutting fluid can be acts as a coolant so guys basically the main two functions of the cutting fluids are it can be used for the lubrication purpose at lower cutting speed and it can be used for a as a coolant on higher cutting speeds so guys these are nothing but the functions of the cutting fluid so guys what are the main characteristics of the cutting fluid or else what are the main requirements of the cutting fluid so basically guys the cutting fluid can be selected based upon the where like the the actual production process that we have adopted the material of the workpiece the material of the uh, like uh, the tool also it uh, gets selected based upon the actual operations like if it is the turning operation facing operation like on that particular scenario it is gets selected also guys there are some properties that needs to be possessed by the good cutting fluid so guys let's check out all of these properties so the first one is the viscosity uh, the ideal cutting fluid or else a good cutting fluid should be having the low viscosity the water water will be having the low viscosity but over here we cannot use water as a cutting fluid water is used along with some kind of the emulsions such as mineral oil added to water and it will uh, you know produce a good amount a good category of the cutting fluid so a good cutting fluid should have a lower viscosity because you know sometimes at the during the machining process we need to have the continuous supply of the cutting fluid so the cutting fluid needs to have a lower viscosity the second one is the non corrosiveness the cutting fluid should be having a non corrosive properties like it should not damage the workpiece or else it should not damage the uh, tool that is the due to corrosion like the life of the tool and the workpiece gets reduced due to the corrosion so the cutting fluid should not have any corrosive properties it should have non corrosive it should be non corrosive in nature basically also it should not have non toxic properties like while working while the metal working operation like the it should not produce any kind of the harm 
to the actual process or as the other uh, human being or as the person who is working and it should not produce any harm to the other environment basically so it should not have any toxic nature it is it has to be non toxic in nature a cutting fluid needs to have a good lubrication properties like when the tool is fed against the workpiece the the that is the tip of the tool gets like the press against the rotating workpiece and it will produce the heat as well as the chips so the chips needs to be carried away by using this type of the cutting fluid so it should have a good lubrication properties a good lubricant basically also guys the the suitable cutting fluid needs to be have a non reactive in nature like if that particular cutting tool gets reacted with the workpiece or else the tool material the ultimately the reliability of the work or else the reliability of the tool which we are using for the cutting operation gets reduced like the life gets reduced due to the reactive nature so the cutting fluids needs to be in non reactive nature also guys this type of the cutting tool can be like uh, used as a coolant so this particular cutting fluid should have a good thermal properties it should have a higher thermal conductivity also it should have the higher heat dissipation rates and the higher temperature coefficient so guys these are the properties like that needs to be possessed by a good cutting fluid basically so guys now let's talk about the different types of the cutting fluids so the cutting fluid that we have adapted for the production process that can be of the like the liquid type it can be of the semi solid type it can be of the gaseous form or else it is the form in the form of the aerosols so basically guys the first one that is nothing but the uh, liquid type so guys in the most of the industries we have seen this type of the cutting fluid that can be of the water or else the emulsion of the oil in water especially this uh, the mineral oil uh, that is added into the water the oil that is added to the water it can be of the mineral oil or else it can be of the vegetable oil or else the oil that is produced by the animal fats so the emulsion that is the oil in water is added also guys the in some of the scenarios like brine is used as a cutting fluid so guys over here in this uh, liquid type cutting fluid we cannot use water alone because uh, water is having a good lubricating properties but like water also having the lower viscosity but over here like water is also having the corrosive properties so this is the reason like water cannot be used alone as a cutting fluid so some kind of the mineral oils are always added to the water so that a good cutting fluid can be created and uh, this type of the cutting fluid can be also called as the semi synthetic coolant basically so guys there are some sort of the other uh, cutting fluids are there such as the kerosene or else the motor oils these are used for the special uh, machining operations so guys the next one is the semi solid type cutting fluid so over here the in the semi solid type cutting fluid uh, like a pest that is used like this particular pest uh, is used for a different processes where the continuous supply of the coolant where the continuous supply of the uh, cutting fluid is not required so over here in this uh, semi solid type cutting fluid the you know the less quantity or as the less amount of the cutting uh, pest is used in different specialized operations over here such as uh, in the most of the industries while doing the tapping operations you must have seen uh, like a pest is there and that particular tap is rotated into the drilled hole and the tapping operation gets carried out so in uh, some sort of the drilling operation tapping operation boring operation like this type of the pest are used for the lubrication purpose and this type of the cutting fluid are you know cheap cuz there is no continuous supply of the cutting fluid and it is having very much less cost basically so guys moving ahead that is nothing but the air so this is the cheapest type of the cutting fluid and the compressed air is easily available in atmosphere the air is compressed and the higher velocity higher pressurized air is thrown against the particular machining operation so that's the you know the chips will blown away and over here it is acts as a coolant basically because the air will be having the good thermal conductivity property so uh, the compressed air or as the air with some sort of the liquid that is nothing but the mist supply of compressed air that is thrown against the like the operation 
so over here the a good coolant is produced and uh, the it will having a good thermal conductivity properties so over here the this particular air can be of the good coolant and it is used as a this is the cheapest option in any of the machining processes and the last one that is nothing but the aerosols so aerosol means the mist so it is the like the air which is uh, adding some kind of the liquid that is the droplets of the liquid and this the air and the liquid mixture that is the atomized mixture of the air and that particular liquid is like uh, like pressurized and that pressurized supply of the uh, like the coolant is like given to the different operations and over here this type of the pressurized supply can be acts as a coolant and this is nothing but the uh, the cutting fluid this is acts as a cutting fluid basically so guys over here this type of the mixture is the atomized mixture and in sometimes it can be hazardous as well like uh, on the operator's health it will provide an adverse effect on the operator's health so guys it is not recommended that is the mist supply basically in the different operations or as in a, a closed container operations this type of the compressed mist supply is suitable basically so guys over here in this today's video we have seen the different types of the cutting fluids we have seen the properties of a good cutting fluid also we have seen the function of the cutting fluid so guys i hope you like my video if you have any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational engineering channel engineers academy also guys uh, uh, on our educational platform we do take some kind of the projects we do take some kind of the assignments in uh, regarding various engineering projects so if you having like any of the work related to the engineering projects you can contact us on our email id and guys also you can check out the description for the more details so guys thank you so much for watching this educational video stay tuned with engineers academy